Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how you can create your first project using Window Builder in Eclipse Java application. And I have shown you how this palette works and what are properties and I have shown you a simple code to show some message when you click some button. Now in this video, we will make some uh, useful uh, application, a simple calculator to add or subtract two values which we enter in the text box. So let's get started. I have this blank uh, frame here and I have taken this absolute layout inside this frame. And then I'm going to take two text boxes here. Text box one and text box two. So once again, text box two, okay. So I have these two text boxes. First name, first text box name is text box field. I will name it as text box field num one. And the second text box name I will change it as text box field num two. Okay. So in these te two text boxes, we are going to enter our two numbers which we want to add or subtract okay now i will take uh, two or i will take a button or two buttons one for adding so i will take this button one for adding and one for subtracting for example if you have observed when you want to uh, drag and drop or when you want to take a same tool two times you need to just click on some other component and go on the same component once again and yet then you will be able to drag and drop the second the same component once again here so in this text box i will change the or in this button i will change the text of this button as add and the second text box text as minus for example okay and then what i can do is i want to show the answer somewhere right so i can show it this answer in a label or a text box whatever you want so for example I want to show the answer in the text box here okay and for I will take this label to show that this is my answer so I will drag and drop this label and I will just move this and this label the text of this label is the answer is for example and the answer will be shown in this text box okay and you can change the property of this label you can change the font size so i will give the bigger font size and bold and let's see what kind of font family we can use so any font family for example this times roman or okay i will take this and i want to make my font a little bit bigger so now i can see this so i have three text boxes and two buttons one label which will show that what will be the answer in this text box okay i will first of all i will click this add button so i can double click it or i can go to right click ever add event handler and action perform okay so this time i'm going to double click this button and we reach to the action perform for this new button which is called add okay and in here first of all i will write a try catch block 
so that uh, user can enter any invalid number for example he may not enter a number he may uh, enter some letter or word or something which is not valid so we need to catch that exception so that's why we need to use try catch block right so we will use a try catch block here and this is how you can write a try catch block just write try and these two curly braces and after these two curly braces you catch your exception if any exception occurs so you can catch your exception in this catch block and I'm simply showing some message in the catch block so if our uh, program throws any error while we uh, are adding these two numbers I will catch the exception and I will say please enter valid numbers okay so this message dialog I have shown you in the last video how to show a message using uh, J option pane right uh, if you remember and in this try catch block or in this try block I'm going to write my code but above this try block what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare two numbers or yeah I'm going to declare two integer numbers so what I am going to do is I will declare two integer variables int num1 comma num2 and I will need a answer variable also to store the answer so I will say ans so I, I have declared three variables num1 num2 and ans so this number one we will transfer the value from the first text box to this number one so I will say num1 is equal to so num1 is equal to and then whenever we take uh, the value from the text box we need to convert it, this value into the integer right from the text box we are going to get uh, the value as a text and we need to convert this value in the integer so how can you can convert this text to integer you need to pass it so you ju can just write integer dot parse int and this can take a string so what you get from the first text box you can transfer it inside this pass it as an argument so our first text box name is let's see what is the name of our first text box text field num1 right go to the source code and inside this pass int argument I can write text field num1 dot get text right because we are getting the text okay in the same way we will transfer the value from the second text box text box field uh, num2 to the num2 variable right integer dot parse int and this will be text field num2 okay now once we have our values from the text box in these two variable we can add these two numbers so, so we can write answer is equal to num1 plus num2 right and we can show this answer to the third text box which was uh, this text box this text box right so we can say the text box field I will change the text uh, box field variable name as ANS text box field ANS so we know that it's an answer text field and then in our code what we can write we can uh, take the name of this text box field ANS dot set text set text and we are going to set this number in this field right so what we are going to do is we can just transfer our answer which is this one ans answer variable to the argument for set text right 
so as an argument for set text in here and this will show this error because it's not a text right it's a integer and we need to convert this uh, text uh, to uh, this integer to text right so to convert this integer to text what we need to do here in the text box field uh, answer dot set text first we need to convert this uh, answer to text field so we will do it like this this is an, an integer so we will write integer dot to string just write to string and this will take this answer integer okay as an argument here like this so our code for addition will look like this this is our code first we have taken uh, the value from the first text box to the number one variable same we have done for number two variable we added these two variable and transferred the value to the text box as an answer same we will do for the subtraction button which is minus button right double click this and in this extra action performed of this button i will just copy this uh, code which i have written in the last action perform of this add button and paste it into the action perform of minus button and the only change will be this this will be now minus right and then it will work the only thing you may need to consider is this exception e it's showing duplicate parameter e you can name it as e1 so that this e and this e doesn't clashes okay now we are going to run our program compile it and run it and hopefully it will not give any error okay so it's not giving any error and for example i want to add 555 five, five and 666 six, six. not this one but 666 six, six. right and i want to add them the answer is 1221 one, right for example i want to subtract them the answer is minus 111 right i can do it some other values or i can just give some uh, value which is not integer for example some word or some letter and let's click this answer button it shows please enter valid number because we have added this try catch block and this is uh, catching any error if we if the user enters any invalid number okay so this is how you can create a simple calculator using your window builder in eclipse using java i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now